guys and welcome to Burning Love, a Yandere visual novel. So this is meant to be a dating simulator. I am very excited to play this and I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's start. What's your name? My name is Yami. Oh yeah. Phew, almost five o'clock. At least this is the last room I have to check. Huh? What's this? A knife? What's a knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? Hmm, shall we pick it up or shall we tell a teacher? I don't know if we're playing as Yandere or if we are playing as ourselves. If it was me, I'm such a nerd and I would tell the teacher, but I wanna be a little bit risky. Shall we pick it up? We are in the occult club after all. I'm pretty sure it's out with that skull. I should probably take it and bring it to a teacher or something. Hmm, I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in the creepy skull? See, I knew it. That's kind of a shame. It looks really cool, huh? There's blood on the other side of it. What the? It even looks fresh. Uh, go to the teacher now or stick it in the skull. I know from playing the games that if you stick it in the skull, something interesting happens. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the skull. I, I mean, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? There, huh? Ah! Oh my gosh. Where am I? Ah! Who? What? Huh? Monsters? A mortal. Here. How curious. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Who is he? Why is his head on fire? And why do I feel like seriously making out with him? Oh, he's so hot. Why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? I'm interested in you. I seek power. I'm, uh, lost? Hmm, what should we choose? We are lost, but I'm very interested in him. Look how hot he is. Oh, not only does he look nice, he's literally hot. I'm just kidding. You can't even see what he looks like. We're gonna say I'm interested in you. Oh, are you? What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. <gasps> Humans are mundane, boring creatures. Wow. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? This guy is so rude. You don't understand I'm interested in you, or I guess I'm not worthy after all. Huh, I am worthy. Let's click the first one. I... What? What do you mean? You're hot, you're sexy, I want to date you. <laughs> Your heart is obviously true because he's like literally on fire. You're sexy. I don't know. We can't see his face and I don't really want to date a demon. Let's go with the first one. What? What's your tongue, mortal? Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? No, and I don't care, you hot boy. Some sort of fiend demon or not really? Let's say not really. You confounding little. I should incinerate you where you stand. <laughs> I am the flame demon, and you will show me proper respect. Na na na, loser. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you with a date. And why exactly <laughs> would I desire to do such a thing? Because, big boy, you'll have a great time. I have no reason to believe your words. I'll make a deal with you. If you go on a date with me, and you don't have any fun, then I'll give you my soul. Just casual, you know. Foolish human. You do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? If it means one night with you, big boy. Of course I do. Let's say, yep. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Please, oh please say yes. Is this human serious? What even is this? What am I playing right now? I don't know. So be it, foolish mortal. I agree to your terms. There is no backing out of this bargain now. I will go on a... <clears throat> date. With you. And if I do not enjoy myself... I will consume your soul. I'd like that. Deal. Yes. You said yes. This is going to be so much fun. So, um, yeah. where are we going? Oh, we're gonna go to the beach. Very well. <laughs> we will now commence our date. Do not disappoint me. Taking a demon from a crazy spirit world to the human beach. 
to have a date. Like, I didn't expect this. Oh my uh, god. This location is pleasant. <gasps> what? It's a nice place. Perfect for a date. <sighs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Proceed with your attempts to woo me. Do your worst. All right, flame demon. You asked for it. Why is your head on fire? <laughs> Where do demons come from? Who were you before you were a demon? Hmm, I want to know that one. Who were you? The year I first drew breath was 1431. Oh my gosh. I was born into a wealthy family. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Pretty good, pretty good. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Oh no. Eventually, their envy turned to rage. That's so sad, Flame Demon. What happened? One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. My mother and father attempted to resist, but they were no match for dozens of armed peasants. Jeez, so sad. The peasants beat my parents oh, savagely when my mother and father were at the brink of death. <gasps> peasants burned them alive. I probably shouldn't have asked him about his life. I think I hit a nerve. Afterwards, peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. That's so sad. I hid during the peasant's assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we should say that, because saying that sucks kind of seems like a little bit sarcastic. Like, oh, that sucks. You'll get over it. Let's say I'm so sorry. For what? For what you had to go through. It's so sad. <laughs> Well, I was able to obtain my revenge in the end. My desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. The demon took an interest in me. Oh gosh. We struck a deal, and I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. That's pretty neat. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. Oh man. I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. And so once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Okay, well that was really deep. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. I mean, I feel bad for the guy now. Let's say, why is your head on fire? When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension mm, to demon. Hope. Makes sense. It's a nice look on you. Oh, that's interesting. No, we're gonna say it's a nice look on you. B what? That's a ridiculous statement. Boy, you're looking so fine. It's true, though. <sighs> that bothers him. I got him a little flustered. Good. Let's keep at it. Where do demons come you from? You truly are an ignorant human. To think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. At least I can learn from a cool demon like you, or don't say anything. I'll say the top one. <laughs> I mean... Yes! You are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. Oh yeah, I am. He <laughs> playing up on his pride. Great strategy. Go me. A demon is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. The human must perform a great sacrifice. Sounds good. After the sacrifice has been performed, the demon will grant the human the power that they desire. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. Okay, so we have some options here. What do you do all day in the demon realm? How many other demons are there in the demon realm? And why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon realm? 
I'm gonna say, what do you do all day? There are very few activities available within the demon realm. From the demon realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. That's it sick. is quite amusing. It is much like your human invention, the television. <laughs> Have you ever taken an interest to a human? Oh, baby. Why would I do that? I don't know. I mean, it would be more fun than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. I am only interested in their souls. Their souls? A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire their soul. So that I may continue living. Oh my gosh, don't take mine. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. How many other demons are there in the demon realm? I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. Wow, that's a lot. Are uh, any- Oh, I said that's a lot and it came up as an option. Are there any as amazing as you? Where is this coming from? I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> he's so adorable when he's flustered. Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon There realm? were actually dozens of other demons present, but only three chose to make themselves visible to you. Oh. Who are the other two? What are the backstories of the other two? And are you enjoying yourself yet? I... well... I asked him if he was enjoying himself. I think he is. Speaking to a human in this manner, being asked questions, providing answers, Talking about myself, I... He likes it. It's not disagreeable. But to make no mistake, you are not wooing me. I am not wooed. Oh, no. You will have to woo harder than that. Oh, I think I've done a good amount of wooing. Now to finish it off. I'd like to mention that you look hot. I will not be <laughs> moved by such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably. I... Oh, it... It is a jest. You are referencing the fact that I have a flame for a face. Your jests are of poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwound. You make my heart burn for you. Or you must be burning up to that. You must be burning up at that. <laughs> Let's do the top one. You make my heart burn for Your you. Your flame puns do not affect me! I'm being serious. I've never felt this way about anyone before. You're special to me. I want to be with you, flame demon. <laughs> My feelings for you are so great. They burn hotter than any flame you can ever conjure. If you think that I'm not serious, you can take my soul right now, and I won't try and stop you. I... Yes? I... I enjoyed myself, human. What? This date was very interesting. I wow. don't know how you've done it, human. But somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of you. Oh my Have gosh. I been seduced? Bewitched? Dare I say it? Wooed? You've been wooed, my friend. I want to belong to you. And I want you to belong to me. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. So romantical. I thought that I no longer had a heart to give, but my heart is now yours. Congratulations, human. You've conquered a demon. I knew I could. W what are we going to do now, lover? Lover, oh my gosh. Kill everyone at my school with fire. Conquer the demon realm. Or make out super hard. I think we should make out super hard. I like the way you think. And that was the end, guys. That was the end of Burning Love. I just made out with a flame demon. I'm surprised my face isn't all crisped up. <laughs> crisped up? Crisped up? Is that even a word? Who knows? Anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy Burning Love. This was hilarious, weird, and funny. All of the things that you want in a visual novel, right? 
Anyway, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one.